Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Sagittarius October 22, 2022. You may need to back away from a problem temporarily to let your mind rest and your intuition engage. You could be so attached to your routines and methods that friction occurs with others, or you may be putting quite a bit of pressure on yourself to get too many things done, which can stress you out. Consider, too, that what you or a friend interprets from your communications can be heavily influenced by insecurities. Transits today can magnify worries and perhaps trigger a bit of paranoia. The trick is to be moderate since going overboard can lead to unnecessary pressure. Try not to push yourself too hard. Be sure to avoid making decisions based on mixed perceptions of the moment. Aim to work on those projects that are already in progress or take some downtime. Dark clouds are gathering directly above you today. This is not a good day for matters of the heart. As the sun sizzles in the sky, he'll experience a horrific attack from powerhouse Pluto in a separate corner of the sky. Struggles over power, trauma, and pain will be prominent now. If single, don't even bother trying to date today. It will only lead to tragedy. If committed and feeling fired up, Agree to table discussions with your one and only until better days are ahead and everyone is thinking clearly. If you do clash, don't engage in threats. Be mindful of your tone, turf, and timing. It is important to remain somewhat neutral with everything going on at work when the Sun in Libra squares Pluto in Capricorn. The square suggests communicative tension if a few heads are butting over things at work. Instead of throwing yourself in the ringer to assume more power or control over the situation, it would be best to take a step back. However, that may not be easy since Mercury in Libra opposes Chiron retrograde in Aries. Check yourself before you speak up out of frustration or anger. On both sides of the financial fence there is a sense of anticipation but also a need to have your antennas up while taking a wait-and-see approach. On the income side of the financial fence, you are waiting for the moon's return to your income sector tomorrow while on the other side you are waiting for Jupiter's game-changing return to your financial sector next week. You may have to put the shine on hold for a little while and that's okay. You don't really want to be in the spotlight as much as people say you do. In fact, you need to focus on yourself in a way that takes the pressure off your outside self and puts it on your inner self. Take food for example. It goes right inside you and thus affects how you think and feel. Put the focus on your healthy diet. You are currently feeling a certain amount of panic due to a chronic lack of assurance in yourself. This is because you are feeling vulnerable in your sentimental life. Be careful about overworking this week even if you can't completely relax because of the abundance of work. Take some time to rest because you will be saturated if you don't. In your effective life, family and friends will reproach you for giving too much time to your work and neglecting them. Take action. The moon's monthly visit to Leo is always a valuable chance to check in but its clash with Saturn, in his final days in retrograde motion in your relationship sector could have a powerful impact on you and your relationships. This is a monthly clash and is something that with Saturn in your relationship sector for nearly three years has been key to maintaining the right balance between your personal and relationship needs. With Saturn in his final days in retrograde motion, as the Sun and Venus align in your communication sector, they are on hand to give this a voice. This is the day that Venus, the planet of love not only catches up with the Sun, but they will spend their remaining three days in your communication sector aligned and with perfect timing. This comes just as the moon clashes with Saturn for the last time while he is in retrograde motion in your relationship sector for another three decades, with the Sun and Venus on hand to give this a voice. Our eyes in the sky. Today brings a healing vibration to balance yesterday's energetic aspects. Mercury in Libra opposes Centaur Chiron in Aries, and this aspect helps you see the overview of what's going on instead of getting caught in the trenches of the current cosmic alignments. It's a new take on an old story with poetic undertones being brought to the surface via this fixed dynamic. 
This aspect could cause someone or something to try to throw you off your game. Stay mentally positive and know that the shade being sent your way has nothing to do with who you are. It's all about what you trigger in others in general. Sometimes jealousy comes out in weird ways, and, unfortunately, it can be sparked by someone's inability to see who they are in the mirror. Luckily, the karmic connections require everybody to contend with their own demons. Nobody is getting off easy here, and right now zooming out and looking at the forest instead of the trees is the best strategy of all. The square of both Mercury and Venus in Libra to Pluto in Capricorn adds context to the plan and helps those with business ambitions to ground to their ideas. It's a perfect day to dive into your career pursuits, which is where you can meet your competitors head on. In the morning, the Libra Sun makes its biannual square to Pluto in Capricorn, prompting power struggles. Although conflict may manifest in the form of a partnership dispute or fight with a co-worker, Plutonian transits are always indicative of a struggle occurring at an interior, psychological level. We feel out of control now, as if we are a pawn in a game we have not elected to play. Toxic relationship dynamics are highlighted, causing us to question why we put up with hostile treatment. Ultimately, Square aspects create tension to expose problematic behavior, and with the exposure comes a choice, do we continue to yield our power to these stronger and seemingly relentless forces, or do we remove ourselves from the situation? From the Libra Sun's point of view, we might feel obligated to keep the peace. Anger, even righteous anger, poses a threat to our lifestyle, titles, and position of influence. Yet, this transit asks us how much of our confidence we are willing to sacrifice for appearances sake. Likely, we've done this to get into another's good graces. Yet, we've wound up wondering whether being held in another's esteem is worth the stress. We shouldn't need to hype ourselves up to impress others. Now we assess the matter at hand with a more measured mindset. We've learned it's possible to be excited about something without sacrificing our integrity to see it through. If this is your day to have fun, don't be surprised if it turns sour thanks to an overwhelming feeling that you should be working, or you should be productive in some way. If you are at work today, your overall productivity will be strong. Following this, the Leo moon squares off with Uranus in Taurus, provoking frustration. This aspect adds fuel to the fire of the Sun-Pluto square. Under the Leo moon, we want to feel special and shiny. We want to be recognized for our contributions. And the fact is, we don't feel special today. We feel like we must submit, rather than stand out, to be rewarded. In response, we decide to rebel. Indeed, this influence may tip the scales, finally pushing us to say. No more. A thoughtless comment or an emotional outburst could seal our fate by spelling the cathartic end of a toxic relationship.